Sue Percy, Chief Executive of the CIHT, thanks for joining us here at the Highways UK conference. Uh, now, highways are really back in fashion, it seems, but what are the real challenges facing your members when we come to delivering this big programme of um, expenditure? I think the, the real big challenge is that um, actually gearing up. Um, if you look at what's expected over a relatively short period of time in terms of delivery, it's a huge challenge. Mm. Um, I certainly think um, the supply chain um, is really having to consider very carefully about how it's going to do that. At the moment, a lot of uh, labour is coming in from, from Europe. And actually, if um, the economies in Europe start to emerge out of the economy and their infrastructure starts to go, we're going to be in a real issue. So I think one of the challenges is around um, skills, both capacity right, yeah. and capability. Not least, I suppose, because the How is England investment really does ramp up quite quickly, doesn't it? It ramps up very quickly indeed mm -hmm. and actually off the back of uh, a period where you know you haven't been gearing up for that and of course uh, for, for a lot of them it's around certainty yeah. you know is actually the, um, the, the the spending guarantees that we've got at the moment actually that's still quite short yeah. for a lot of the investment that needs to go in if you're really going to be able to deliver and clearly if we don't deliver as a sector then we're not going to get a seven, yeah. second chance. We've been hearing a lot today at the conference about uh, the need really to suppose to move towards a customer focused uh, delivery. Um, as far as you uh, as an organisation and your members, I mean, what, what, how can you help to suppose to change the, the focus of the supply chain towards more of a customer focused delivery? I think it's really about um, really getting the message across that actually highways are not a means to themselves. They're actually around getting people and goods from A to B mm -hmm. as efficiently, safely and reliably uh, as possible. And I think there's a real need to start to think differently about why are we delivering this, how are we maintaining it, mm -hmm. for whom, yeah. and actually getting the views of the customer and the needs of the customer and, um, and what their expectations are. So I think there's a real issue around uh, communications okay. as, as well. Comprehensive spending review is out today. Um, we knew there were going to be big cuts to the DFT spending. I think it's come out now something like 37% mm -hmm. cut of up to operational spend. I mean, what kind of what kind of impact do you think that will have on um, on the market going forward? I think it's uh, actually it's quite difficult to say in detail what that's going to be because I think there's quite a lot of ambiguity around certain things mm -hmm. because on one side, on the face of it, it doesn't look too bad overall but when you look at that 30% cut, it's going to, I think, have uh, a lot of impact in certain areas. I don't want to name things right. particularly at the moment mm -hmm. because I think there's a little bit more work to be done. Well, I think what things like the ability to, of, of, of clients to administer contracts to get uh, to get the, get those contracts actually out to the market is that the fear? I think that, I think that's one of it. But I mean, if you're suddenly looking at a thirty percent reduction, uh, you know, in in your budget, it, it, I think it's going to be across the board actually. And that we know there's certain things that are actually um, uh, safeguarded. Yeah. So if you've got certain things which are safeguarded, it means the cuts are going to land in other areas. Yeah. So it's not going to be evenly spread across the department. You mentioned skills earlier. Mm -hmm. One of the big issues around skills, of course, is uh, diversity and the need mm -hmm. really to embrace uh, the opportunity of a more diverse mm -hmm. workforce. Mm -hmm. CHT put out a report um, a week before last, yes, we did. Uh, really you know, uh, coming up with some solutions. Well, what, what are the solutions? What do we need to be doing? to boost the diverse diversity? I think, I think it's about uh, a number of things. One would be around uh, making um, the highways uh, area a much more attractive career. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of myths around what it really is or what it is. Um, and I think we need to really uh, bust those, get a lot more uh, young people engaged and thinking that this is a really career for them because it's a fantastic career with a lot of future because there's a lot of pipeline uh, coming forward. I think it's also around um, understanding um, about different ways of working, much more flexible working, accommodating people who have different needs. And I think it's also around leadership. It's really got to come uh, from the top all the way through the organisations. And um, there will be have to be culture change and a much more understanding of how we operate at the moment isn't necessarily attractive to a wide section of the population. Yeah. 
It's an exciting time. It Lots is. to do. Thanks for joining us here today, yeah. Sue. Thanks Thank a lot. you. Thank you.